Okay, let's talk BNP really quickly. BNP stands for brain naturetic peptide. The reason it's called brain naturetic peptide is that it was first discovered in the uh, brains of animals. But being brain naturetic peptide is a little bit misleading because the, where we're going to look for with this lab and the reason we're running this lab is for heart failure. So what happens is BNP, brain naturetic peptide, is found in the ventricles of the heart, okay? And so what happens is as, as these ventricles stretch, as their volume increases and as the ventricles stretch, BNP is going to be released into the system from the ventricles themselves. So essentially what we're trying to measure is we're trying to measure volume and the amount of stretch the ventricles are going through, okay? Again, it's going to be found in the walls of the ventricles and as volume increases, it's going to force these ventricles to stretch more than what they uh, want to do. And so it's going to release that BNP from the ventricles into the system and we're going to be able to assess uh, basically volume status, volume overload which obviously helps with heart failure because heart failure is an issue of the, the heart not being able to pump volume throughout the system. Okay, ideally in a normal healthy individual you want BNP to be under 100. Moderate heart failure, heart failure is present between 100 and, and 300. Between 300 and 600 it's moderate heart failure and a, up to about 900 is, is severe heart failure. Now you will have patients who will have BNPs in the thousands, 4,000, 6,000, 2,000, and that indicates severe heart failure, right? Fluid is being trapped in these ventricles either due to the fact that uh, our left ventricle is not able to pump the blood out into the system, and so it's going to back up into the lungs, or our right ventricle is not going to be able to pump the blood forward into the lungs, re forcing it to be backed up into the system. Okay, so that's just a really quick basic overview of BNP.